Uh, early 9-11 tyres. This is a 165 Prelly Cinturato CA67. Came out in 1952, and this is what your early, early 9-11s could run. And there's also the Michelin XAS 165-15. These were both early 9-11 tyres. Okay, this is progressive sporty handling, and this is an asymmetric carcass to really improve your directional stability on dual carriageways and motorways. These are your best two genuine period original equipment Porsche tyres for your very early 911s. In 1968, probably brought out the CN36 tread pattern, um, and this tyre we have here is V rated, it's the highest speed rated 16515 there is. This tyre also qualifies for an N4 homologation from Porsche. In other words, this is Porsche saying this tyre is absolutely spot on for their cars. Um, it's a bit late really, the tread pattern is 1968. This is genuinely period, and this is genuinely period. This is what they actually fitted on those early cars, but that's what Porsche have homologated, and it is a superb tyre. Um, in a 165.15, there's also a Firestone, you just want to fit that to an L911. They do a Vrida Stein as well. If you just want a cheap tyre to put in your car, no, that's wrong. No. Michelin make an XZX. This is not really a sports car tyre. However, if you get a cheap skate on your tyres, then, you know, now, again, that's not really the right way of saying it. This is the, the best tyre out of the budget tyres in the 16515 size. However, don't put a budget tyre on, put a good quality one on, and fit one of these three, determined by what you're after. Genuine period original tread back for the car and an excellent tyre. Asymmetric tyre from the period 1965, improve the directional stability of it on motorways and dual carriageways. If you can do a lot of motorway use, brilliant. High performance V rated, Porsche homologated, top quality, CN36, also Porsche fit, but later, after about 1968. Okay, now in 1967, Porsche moved from 4.5 inch rims to 5.5 inch rims, but they continue to fit a 16515. The extra rim, rim widths give the, give the tyre a bit more stability, so it, so it doesn't move from side to side on the, the cornering. And at high speeds on dual carriageways and motorways as well, it improves the directional stability. So these tyres were being fitted on a 5.5 inch rim from 1967. It was in 1968. Uh, where Porsche went on to fitting low profile tyres because I mean that's when they came out. In all fairness, Porsche were pretty really cutting edge really. Um, you know, low profile tyres came out in 68, Porsche fitted them in 68, boom, straight on it. So, now the original period tyres that Porsche fitted in the day again, and these are both really high specification, absolutely top quality tyres. Again, you've got the Pirelli Centurato CN36. And again, you've got the Michelin, well, no, this time you've got the Michelin XWX. That's a 185 7015 Michelin XWX. Both superb, high performance, top quality tyres. And Porsche again homologated the CN36 with its M4 homologation. So they're both an excellent choice. You know, there's no doubt about it. There isn't a better road tyre in the size 185 7015. Now, there's a possibility of your car. This A1 CL6ZZ might be a better track tyre, tire. but I'm not saying that for definite. You know, there's a very good chance you might do as well as this on the uh, CM36 or the XWX. However, this tyre has got more robust carcass to it and it's got a compound that's designed to be able to handle the heat build up to get from a very powerful rear wheel drive car. So that's the A1 CL6ZZ. These two are genuine period road tyres. This is a track day tyre with less tread depth, a bit more, it's quite a bit heavier because it's got that reinforced carcass but but that's that's uh, another good option and again with these tires in this period they've got the rounded shoulders to them so that it is it's progressive handling you know the, the car when you power around the corner on the throttle the car won't break away suddenly it'll progressively handle um, and then in 1972 cars like the Carrera and the RS and the absolutely top range sports car um, 911s started to fit a bigger rear tyre. Um, so and they put a 7 inch rim on there as well. And this has just come out from Pirelli. It's a 21560 WR15 Pirelli Cinturato CN36. Again, N4 for the Porsche homologation. 
In other words, Porsche is saying these tyres are absolutely on the nail and it is what Porsche fitted in 1972. So it's the right thing for the car. Very high specification, very top quality, but you've got to remember this is these are for the for the Carrera and the RS cars, the sports car cars. So they're not saying the car is going to handle nice on the road with these tyres. What I'm saying to you is if you're going to go on the track and you can handle it, then this tyre will diminish the wheel spin a little bit and possibly get rid of a bit of that oversteer. Um, and then again, we have an Avon alternative. Um, so this is Avon CL6ZZ again. It's very heavy, but the car is reinforced to give you that directional stability, to give you that progressive handling at uh, high speeds on the track. Um, it's worth pointing out that later cars, uh, the SC cars, later SCs, not the first ones, but the later SCs, moved on to a 195, 65, 15. But I think it's worth pointing out that they, that was a different tyre, that was a different car. And the carcass structure of 195, 65 is different to these. So you should think carefully about it just before you just assume that a fatter tyre in your car is going to make it handle better. Because often you might get better braking in a straight line at the expense of more progressive handling. So don't just fit a wider tyre thinking it's going to be better. More information on early 911 tyres, contact Longstone Tyres on 0044 1302 71123 or longstone.com.